Hello, uh, this is uh, my first ever attempt to make any video of mine where I am giving some ideas or tips to my students uh, regarding the upcoming board exams. So please uh, forgive me for any kind of technical errors that you find in this video. So today I'm going to talk about your preparations that how you should prepare for uh, the upcoming board exams very specially for the subject of science. For science you should remember that there are three parts that is physics, chemistry and biology which you have been preparing throughout this year and as far as I know that the student finds uh, most difficult part as physics. Let me tell you, I can understand that physics is difficult for some students because of the numericals that they get in different chapters. Uh, very specially uh, with regard to the boards, I would say that your numericals will come from the chapter light and some questions can come from the chapter electricity. So if you are not very good in numericals and you don't have enough time to master over them, just focus on the numericals of the chapter light and some of the important questions, numerical based questions of the chapter electricity. like the. Uh, questions that come from the topic combination of resistance they are very important at least one question will definitely come from combination of resistance or uh, circuit diagram so these two uh, questions th these two types of questions are very important in physics very specially in numericals now apart from numericals if you uh, try to if you want to score high in physics then you should focus on the applications of the basic concept. For example, you have studied about reflection and refraction phenomena. Try to focus upon the practical applications of reflection and refraction, very specially the natural phenomena that you see around. They will be very helpful for you to you know, solve the questions because over the years, the questions that have come from the chapter refraction and reflection are very specially from the uh, topics of natural phenomena like why the stars twinkle then advanced sunrise late sunset or why the uh, uh, sky appears blue these kind of questions then human eye is a very important topic for all of you so please uh, practice the drawing of uh, human eye and be thorough with the different parts of the human eye very especially their functions so these are some of the things in physics which will be very helpful for you to score high in physics. Remember the formulae, the lens formula, the mirror formula, the formula for magnification, the relationship between the focal length and image distance, object distance and all those things. Be very particular about the sign convention while solving the numericals of light be very very particular about the sign convention where to put minus where to put plus and all those things because many good students make silly mistakes in putting the symbols as a result of which although they have solved the numericals correct but they didn't, don't get the full marks because of the wrong answer that they get at the end due to the wrong designation of the symbols coming on to chemistry i would say that just be specific with the chemical reactions given in NCRT. I know that the students are a uh, little bit worried about the chemical reactions and the questions that comes from chemical reactions. So uh, NCRT is sufficient. The questions that are given in NCRT, the blue questions and the exercises and the reactions that they demand are more than sufficient for your uh, board exam. To, to solve the questions that will come in your board exams because in the last 10 years I have never seen that they have asked a question, any reaction based questions out of NCERT. So be thorough with all the reactions that are given in NCERT. In my next video I will try to tell you all the specific topics of chemistry which you should prepare uh, that will help you to get higher marks. Next is biology. How to prepare biology in this last moment? Just find out the important topics which you haven't prepared yet and just you know try to learn them as soon as possible. 
very specially from life processes you should uh, focus upon the topics like photosynthesis human heart nephron and uh, the respiratory uh, system the system uh, the respiratory the human respiratory system so these are uh, very important topics and from respiration you should also be aware about the aerobic and anaerobic respiration that topic so these are some uh, important topics from life processes we should cannot afford to overlook from control and coordination be thorough with the functions of different parts of the brain be thorough with the functions of the different hormones secreted from the different endocrine glands be thorough with the different different tropic movements and their examples these are something very important and never forget to practice the diagram of the neuron the reflex arc coming on to reproduction chapter practice thoroughly the diagram of the male and the female reproductive system remember the examples of different asexual mode of reproduction binary fission spore formation budding and so on vegetative propagation plant tissue culture and all they are very important heredity and evolution i know that some of you find it very difficult because it was something very new for you to study in class 10th so going specific i would say that you should give your full focus on the mendelian process that is the most important topic in this chapter the law of inheritance law of segregation law of dominance law of independent assortment monohybrid cross dihybrid cross they are very important for you so you cannot afford to overlook these topics from the evolution part specifically you should concentrate on uh, molecular phylogeny then artificial selection that wild cabbage and its different forms uh, that were selected then you sh- you have to focus upon homologous and analogous organs convergent divergent evolution and their examples and um, you you should also go through acquired and inherited traits the definitions of variations why it is important for a species and such things the last two chapters are environment and management of resources you just give a gentle reading and go through the blue questions and the exercises not a single question is going to come outside it so this is by and large the topics that you should uh, thoroughly prepare for your science exams now the next part on which i would like to draw your attention is the question paper how the question paper will come so as you all are aware that this year the cbsc board has changed the pattern a little and there would be 21 mark questions 10 3 mark questions and uh, 6 5 marks questions my personal suggestion would be to start with five marks question again i'm telling you it's my personal suggestion it's absolutely up to you that what you find comfortable for yourself but if i would uh, appear for if when i would appear for a board exam i would say that uh, i would start for uh, with the five marks questions because at the beginning i have got enough time i'll go through the question paper thoroughly and i'll see that the five marks questions are answered well just hold on sorry for the interruption so i was talking about the question paper solving so uh, this is my suggestion that you should start with the five marks questions because you will have enough time at the beginning you can think you can create your answer properly and then write it down and generally the five marks questions asks you to write down the diagrams draw the diagrams so you'll have enough time to do that in a best possible way and if you start with attempting the five marks questions and you answer them nicely with very good presentation with very well leveled diagram definitely the examiners will also get a very good first impression of your answer sheet that which will help you uh, in the next uh, part of the answer sheet when they will correct they will correct in a better mood that i can say then after attempting all the five marks questions you should go for the three marks questions Three marks questions could be a bit challenging for you, very especially some of them, because it may contain the numericals, it may contain some kind of reasoning-based questions. So please uh, give enough time, think over the uh, question that what actually has been asked, and then answer them properly. At end, at the end, you will have the one-mark questions, and I am sure that if you are, if you have 
you've got a good practice to solve the sample papers, if you have taken good uh, number of mock tests, then definitely the one mark questions you will get enough time to solve at the end, which will be of 20 marks in total. And um, you, even after completing the whole question paper, you will get around 10 to 15 minutes to have a thorough revision. So this is my way to approach the question paper for science examination. Thank you. That's all from my side today. I will definitely come back with better uh, inputs, with better suggestions for you all in my next video. And once again, I'm sorry for the technical errors and uh, maybe the video was monotonous, but this is my first attempt. I will keep on learning. I'm sure about it. Thank you so much.